Let's continue to find restricted values for the variables. So whenever we're being asked to find restricted values, we're just going to look here at the bottom of the fraction, the denominator. So, and we know that x minus 2 cannot be equal to 0. Some teachers like to use just the equal sign, but I'll, I'll just use this sign instead. I can bring the 2 over to the right, and x cannot be equal to 2. So that's a restricted value for x, just 2. Over here, x minus 4 cannot be equal to 0. So x cannot be equal to 4. That's it. Again, just a quick recap. Why? Why can't x be equal to 4? Because if I plug the 4 in here, 4 minus 4 would give us 0 in the denominator. And we can never have a denominator being equal to 0, because that's just that just doesn't exist. So and why did I just scribble on top here? Because regardless of what is in the numerator, just doesn't matter. We, we're just interested in the restricted values, and in this case, it's 4. That's it.